you'd like to paint some roses. Well, to do that, you have to have only two brushes, in my opinion. One is the 1 8 Rose Rain Company Series 303. That's for painting those green leaves. And this beauty here is a Pro Art number 4 Series 103. And that is used for painting all the petals. So, there was the brushes and the paint. The paint is Craftmaster Paints, which you can get from um, Craftmaster Paints, of course, Cambridgeshire. Um, you can look on that if you want, but if you look online, you'll find, you'll find a phone number, which is there, of course. Give them a ring, speak to Adam, they'll be more than happy to help you out with these paints. Equally, you can get um, a starter pack, which I think contains six paints and uh, and brushes and uh, and a chart to show you exactly what to do. I would recommend that you get this cat starter pack, but get the additional ones rather than mixing yellow and blue to get green uh, by the green because then it's always the same. So, so that's it. We've got the paint and we've got the brushes. So, to start doing the leaves, we start with one of the flat. This is called, actually called it, a one stroke. The rosemary one, one eighth, one stroke. I think it's because you're supposed to do everything in one stroke. So, uh, my paint is in these little pots. As you will see, uh, that is designed to make sure I don't have to open the big tin of paint, or the small tin of paint, uh, for that matter, too often. So basically what I do is paint a leaf like that, like that, two strokes, one down the middle, and then do it again like that, fill in the gap, and then again, and you can do it in one stroke if you want by doing that and just turning the brush round and do it like that. I'll do a couple more so you can see, it's basically the strokes like that and fill in the bit in between. It's like culling in, I suppose, just but without a little line, although, I mean, put the lines on where you want to be. Then you get another brush, identical, and use brown. This is the only time you usually use two brushes. And while the green is still wet, we are going to paint the brown onto the, and blend it in with the green. Now, there we are, uh, start on the outside of the leaf and blend it in. And then again here, start inside so that the bit between the two ends up dark. It's not 100% critical because later on I will put some black in there just to give it that bit of shadow. So there we are, we've got green leaves. The next step is, I'll put this to one side, the next step is to paint green again using the using the one stroke the, not one stroke at all using the pointed writer when you buy this you'll you'll say they're called a rigger number four rigger nevertheless whatever they like to call it it's a matter of, it's a matter of, and then you can put these little things in by starting thin press and it'll go out and do it again and press the same the other side press out press and normally when I do this I've got a silly fool watching me with a camera so I don't really have to worry about getting it 100% perfect but this time I'll try my best to do that so you will then end up with something that looks similar to that me, I think this is a pretty boring doing this, but if it looks unbalanced once in a while, add another one like that. It doesn't really matter, does it? So there's the leaves, there's the tendrils. The next step, of course, as you'll see from the photographs, is to create the backgrounds, which are these, which you will then use the other big brush, the other pointed brush, to put the petals on. So, this is very quickly. I won't go on for too long, I'm sure you'll get very bored, but we're going to move that little pot out of the way, 
I'm just about using red. I wouldn't normally do it this way, of course, but we'll just get some red there. And this brush, which I'll show you on here, this brush will do thick down to all the way down to really thin, like that. It's the same brush with the same strokes for each one, regardless of how many you do, or you can do it down that or tiny, whatever you want to do. And that's all with the same brush. This brush has got an amazing amount of roses in it, believe it or not. The next step, of course, is to put petals on too. So we'll do a red one, shall we? So we're going to go like this, and then we're going to go like that. I don't know why I'm painting this one sideways, but I am. Uh, and then we follow down with doing exactly the same as I've done there, but you just turn the brush at the end. And you can do that. You can do as many as you like if you want, because basically it's your rose. You can do as you like, can't you? But basically that's the way we do with them. And there are other way, other ones to do. So there we are. So there's a red rose. Now, if I just draw quickly, using these circles here, uh, explain to you that there are other styles. Don't get bored and by and monotonous by doing the same one over and over and over again. You mustn't do that. We'll just try a different one from the other way. Imagine that's got a background, and we'll just do starting thin and finishing thin with that one, and then we put one underneath like that. And the next one there, well, this one will finish a little bit wide. The reason for that is that that one is going to tuck into there, look like that. That one tuck into there. And then we put some across the top, like so. This means that we can create another kind of rose. This is not intended to be a rose, no more than any of the other ones are. They're actually just simulation of a rose aren't they really they're just an attempt to create a rose that's what this is really so, and we'll do one the other way for uh, in a different style again start like that and then come down this side like that and like that and like that and then f imagine that's the center there we're going to go up around the top like that in one stroke and then for a couple of squiggly bits there and then there. This is Stuart's rose, this one. I like to call it mine. So there we are. So that's another rose that you can do. That's it. So it's all about one of these and getting this paint onto there to create the impression of roses. So it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.